Hello everyone, how are you? I'm XDSL. Let's talk about news boats. Now, uh, the reason I want to talk about news boats is because I've not really done a... I mean, I've talked about news boats, but I've never done like a dedicated video on news boats. I thought this might be a great time to do this. And the reason is, on X-Penguin this week, I talked to Chris Ware about RSS readers and RSS, like, online services. And yeah, I, I've been deep diving into that stuff because Chris has really got me sort of thinking about RSS again. Because uh, while I use RSS casually, um, I'm not very good at keeping my feeds up to date and like thinking of it as my primary source of information. So uh, I thought, you know, Newsbo is, uh, is is the thing I like. So I'm going to go all in on Newsbo. And I thought that might be interesting for a video. And here we are now. I don't know why I'm telling you all this backstory. Here's Newsbo. Boom, Newsbo. Newsboat's here. Look, here's Newsbo. Look, um, the thing about Newsbo is uh okay uh, the thing that's in about news but oh, there we go there's a pop-up there to have me on red articles we got is it's an NCURS, it's a terminal based application now there's a lot of i mean there's a lot of news readers out there like rss services like inner reader and feedly that are web-based but ultimately i really like terminal based applications so on my computer i want to use vim keys ideally i want a terminal application i want something text-based config the news boat has been wonderful for that. So here's all my, here's a few of my uh, of my subscriptions right here. And I'm just going to go, okay, let's pick a random one. Let's go and look at ooh, Eurogamer. I don't know. I do read lots of non-Linux news, by the way. So don't judge me, guys. I like to read my non-Linux news as well. Uh, so let's look at Eurogamer. There's one. That's not very good. There's one feed there. That's 16 feeds on Bleeding Cool News. So there you go. There's all my feeds that are 16 feeds on there. And I can go, so I'm going to go, okay, let's have a look at that. There's the article itself. If I want to open it in my browser, I can just hit O, uh, and then you'll see it already be opening it over in Firefox, which is cool. Uh, and then oh, if I want to go that one, I can go that one. Have a look at that one. Now, I've set it up so I can hit N for the next unread article. So regardless of category, it will always move to the next article. Um, or I can go back, uh, and then I can just go like, like, like Shift and N to go to the next category, or just N to go to the next unread article, which of the same thing in this case uh yeah so if, if i want to go and look at you know i guess i'm going back to being corporates all there you'll see there you've got like n for new you've got uh, the date there you've got the title of it and you've got the feed link at the top which i've put there and all the tips and the keystrokes you'll need are at the bottom not that you really need them you can turn them off as well if you don't want them but um they're all there at the bottom to give you you know an idea of what's happening so um so yeah, if I want to mark all these as red, I would just go capital A, that shift and A, and that all be instantly marked as red. I will show you that, even though I mean I won't get this news and I'll probably miss it. There you go. All marked as red, and it only shows as unread stuff, so it just vanishes. You can hit R there as well to refresh, and it'll just refresh everything there as well, which is nice. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and I will get a little pop-up. There you go, a little pop-up, so I've had how many unread articles. Uh, this is set to refresh about every five minutes. So if I leave it open somewhere, I will get that pop-up every time it finds new articles. And the amount of things I subscribe to, I get a lot. Now, the other thing I like about Newsboat is if I press T now, boop, there you go. I'm getting my feed curated by tag rather than uh, by, by whether or not it's new. So without, so if without that, that's just literally the, a list of the feeds. Press T, and I can go through categories. You can also make this the default view if you want. But like if I want to go, oh, comic books, it'll just, there's all the feeds to do with comic books. I kind of would like it if it interlaced it better. It just showed me all the feeds in one long list rather than separating them when I'm in tag view. But I, this is probably why I still I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. Uh, but yeah, you can go, yeah, you can say just T, there you go, and then boop, you can go down there. Now, how to add these tags and how to set up Newsboat is very easy, but we'll talk about that now. Um, so, uh, if we go into Newsboat, ooh, ooh, that's that's not, I forgot to push tab, uh, and then we'll go into the Newsboat config file. Now, this is kept in .config uh, Newsboat, so I use my, I use um, Stove to back up my files. There's a video on Stove if you're interested, just type in S-T-O-W uh, on my channel and you will find it. But uh, yeah, there you go, anyway, there's the config file. So, this is in .config, uh, is it dot .news, no, no, it's just in .newsboat, sorry, in home directory. In fact, let's go and check that, shall we? Uh, there you go. So let's go there instead. It's the same place on my system, but either way, I'm confusing things, aren't I? Um, we've got a few files there, okay? We've got we've got history, we've got search, URLs, config. The one we're interested in first is uh, URLs. So we're gonna we're gonna have a little, we're gonna vim that. Uh, we're gonna vim our URLs thing. There you go. Now what I've done here is every line is a new feed. You simply add feeds by editing this file. That's it. All you gotta do is edit the file. Uh, and what I've done is I put I put tab spacing to make it all line up nice to make it more readable. And then over here we've got our tags. You can divide them by spaces. So so uh, boiling steam appears in both gaming and Linux. Uh, Pharonix appears in technology and Linux. And uh, gaming on Linux appears in gaming and Linux. There you go. Uh, and then I just when I when I add another line I just sort it alphabetically just to make things easy for myself. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, 
It's that simple. I mean, that to me is endlessly digestible. And as long as it's exporting your OPML feed, fucking save that to a folder, you're done. Um, my list is actually available on my uh, GitLab repo. Um, I don't see the point in keeping this a secret. The things I read, you know, it's it's not, it's not a secret, so I just put it up there. Um, now, how do we configure? How do we configure this uh, exactly, though? Uh, we're gonna go uh, you know, config. There's a config file here, and it looks complicated, but because I've got a lot going on, the initial config that you have, and the Arch Wiki again, the Arch Wiki uh, does tell you how to uh, how to get that configured. There's a little configuration section there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, the configuration there tells you exactly. I set everything up. It's it's really quite easy. It just tells where the default config is, and you know, you can copy it to wherever you want. Very easy stuff. Um, but the default has got a few things. Things I've added, uh, and I don't remember exactly what default ones I've added. It's auto reloads. That's the top line. Um, then the reload time is 120 seconds. It's fine. Um, show show red articles. I don't want to show red articles. I I don't need to see that at all. Um, show red feeds. No. So if, if I've read everything from a certain website, just remove the feed off my list. Don't show it me. I move my cache file. Um, because that I, I don't know if that can get large enough, but I've moved that just into into another folder so it doesn't get synced with the rest of my dot files. Because I mean, it's not like I say, I don't think of RSS as a particular secret. I'm not worried about you guys knowing what I read because it's the anime news first, followed by the comic books, then the Linux stuff. <laughs> Figure that out. But I don't see the point in backing up cache to, to GitLab, so I just moved that somewhere else. Uh, a maximum, you know, a big maximum because why the fuck not nowadays? Um, delete red articles on quit. Yes. So you know, anything red, just get rid of it. Uh, and then I've got my text from my column, which is 80. And I think that's, uh, given the fact I use half a screen, usually, I tend to have that open that side. And then, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what you usually do. I usually have it like this. So I'll, I'll, I'll go down here. And if I do want to open it, so if I do, if I'm reading, uh, again, we'll, we'll go to Kotaku this time, which is always a terrible idea. Uh, ooh, so if I, am in, uh, if I am in there and I go, okay, I'm, I'm reading this, bro. I want to see the full article. It just opens it next to it. I don't have to go to a different web. I just move my eyes across. I can carry on reading. Uh, I can carry on reading down there. Um, yeah. So that's uh, that's doing well. I've just moved, I've just moved the wrong. There you go. I don't know what happened there. I moved. I'm, <laughs> I made the mistake then of uh, of moving things wrong. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, that's what I tend to do. And we'll just quit news boat now. There you go. Uh, yeah, and then uh, so, so that's eighty fine for me. Firm and exit. No, you know, don't want any of that. I'm not going to deal with these options. Now here's the one: browser Firefox. You um, uh, you can set like the uh, the XDG open thing. But I always want it to be in Firefox, regardless of how Fox is up. So I just tend to like a bit like Firefox. Um, and yeah, inbuilt rendering, MPV, all this stuff. Now, here's the stuff that's interesting, is this is how you can edit the feed titles and make them sort of exactly say what you want them to say, which I quite like. It's just no no extra text. It's just the text I want up there. Um, save path if you save a folder. Uh, and yeah, they're just the keybinds down here. So as you can see, it's all really easy. Um, these keybinds are fairly standard. I don't think, I think I've just added capital R to uh, lowercase r to reload all and capital R to reload the other way around before I've done that in there and then some colors which again just tab space to make them look nice this is fine with tabs the feed highlight here this is one thing so if an article has the word security in its title it'll come up as red um haven't tried I mean I've, I haven't managed to find that working yet I haven't found an article that's like security update um but my, my, my use case was the arch wiki if it has a security update so i was like oh let's, let's make sure i see that uh, and then i've also great to ignore articles with the word sponsor or sponsored didn't know you could do that i was browsing someone's gitlab um repo and i just stumbled and i was like that's genius i just don't have to look at sponsored articles fucking great um so i was very pleased about that uh, yeah and then yeah and then i've just oh and there is a bookmark thing i've got this bookmark thing set up um i can actually i can show you that actually uh i'm just pushing the one thing um there you go. I've got this bookmark script now. This looks complicated, and again, I stole this. From, I stole this from someone else's. Uh, I think I found this on uh, on Unix porn actually in someone's repos in there. But uh, I just think so. When I bookmark it, it just all it does is it just adds that information to uh, to the bookmarks folder in um in Nextcloud. So if I just bookmark something, it could just appear in Nextcloud. So I'm like, oh, I've got a list of things I want to look at later, which for my use case works fine because, as I said, this is not clouded, right? This is not a cloud like cloud updated. But if I want to read that on my phone, I can add it to, I can add it, just push the one button, press R, and it just instantly adds it to that text file inside my next cloud folder. Um, and that allows me to then later on on my phone, pull up notes and just go to the URL. So it, it sort of, it, it's sort of a nice middle ground for me. It works well for me. I'm not sure it'll work well for anyone else. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do to, to do Newsboat. And then you just, Newsboat, great. And it'll pop up in a minute, in a second, and tell me how many unread feeds I've got. And the notifications are all in my config as well. Again, all my config, is available over on GitLab's um, just or DOTS that's dots 
dot um, dot xdsl dot co uk or xpeg with dot love it all all works really dots dot anything really for me works um you can find that or just search my name on uh, gitlab or the link below the video but yeah it's uh, it's really nice i really this is this is pretty much like, that is actually the video I use that's pretty much how i want to browse things okay let's okay let's browse the comic stuff now let's browse all the gaming stuff you know it's nice i really really like it so i thought you could have a look as well maybe you'll like it too there are i mean chris Ware is right a web based a web based cloud based thing is better like it is really but you have to pay for it and i'm not sure what you're getting with my little my little work around here about adding things to bookmarks just kind of works for me it just it does just kind of like you know kind of works for me and there's a few extra options in there as well so if i haven't gone through all the options you can get through here i think there's there's enough document between the arch wiki and the documentation button here there's enough there so you can get started and get set up without a problem or if you want if you just took mine and just threw it in your config i'm pretty sure it'd work fine um i wouldn't suggest taking my url list i mean you can but uh you probably are not interested in saying weird shit i am there'll be a lot of weird shit in there I'm still filling up at the moment. I'm like, I'm like essentials, but I'm going to fill it up with a lot of shit. And you'll be like, I don't want to read Kotaku every day. I don't want to, you know, <laughs> the things you probably don't want to read that I do because I just like looking, I like being informed when it comes to gaming and entertainment stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. I've been Hex. If you like what I do and you want more technical, more, again, people need to tell me if you want more of these videos and like less gaming videos and things because primarily I do gaming videos. But if you want more of these sorts of videos, you do have to let me know because I can't can't figure out my own if people like it so you do have to let me know um and if you'd like to support me and you want me to do more stuff you can do that over on patreon which is a big help to me and helps me keep the channel going like legit helps me like you know decorate this office and stuff and i've just realized i got my big glasses on not small glasses so yeah there's that thanks for watching i've been hex goodbye